What's going on y'all, it's Everyday Cachet and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, typically on this channel we talk plus size fashion and style, my love of sneakers, lifestyle, and more. So if you're into any of that, then you should definitely go ahead and tap on the subscribe button. In today's video, I'm gonna share what I wore for my 31st birthday this year, the 2021 fall trends that I incorporated into my look, and what you need to do to execute bomb plus size outfits for fall. Now before we get started, links to all items will be linked in the description box below. My P.O. Box information is there as well in case y'all wanna send your girl anything for her birthday or wish to possibly have your brand highlighted in upcoming videos. If you're excited to catch on to these fall trends, see my birthday look, or just spend some time with me today, then go ahead and tap on the like button and let's get into it. My birthday is on October 2nd and it's like the kickoff of fall for me. And I feel like that's necessary for fall before it gets too cold. Now, as a Libra, we're not often biased, but I totally am when it comes to my belief that fall is the best season of the year. It's that season when people layer up within reason. So getting necessary pieces for fall is always my goal. And I use my birthday as the basis for setting what items I wanna add into my fall wardrobe each year. Before I share some actual footage of me celebrating my birthday over lunch with my girl, Jin John from Wisconsin and other friends, I wanted to share a few pro tips for styling yourself and executing bomb plus size outfits for fall, your birthday, or really any occasion. Pro tip number one. Start early. The earlier you plan, the more time you have to gather a mood, vibe, aesthetic, and actually realize each element of the outfit in time to try it all out together. The second thing is go with what you know. So often we like to try a whole brand new style. Now, I did that this year for my secondary outfit on my birthday, a second look that I put together where I tested my typical style, and it actually worked. I grabbed some new sneakers I've wanted for a while, and they're the perfect pair for fall. But I would recommend if you're trying to one hit them, quit them, don't go doing something that's completely out of your wheelhouse when it comes to your style. Stick to what you know, especially for an occasion like your birthday. Now, if you're just generally shopping for fall, then I definitely encourage you to press the bounds on what you typically wear during this season. Pro tip number three, create a mood board. This was integral to me visualizing what I actually wanted to look like and channeling my inspirations into things that would actually work for me and my shape. Number four, budget. Gearing up for additions to your wardrobe ahead of any season, especially fall, can be expensive. You put this on, bling, bling. How much? I let it go for about $40. $40? So budget your monies and thrift like I do and save where you can. Also, shop the links in the description box below because I might make a little bit of a commission off of your purchase when you shop the items that I provided for you in this video. And pro tip number five, kill that that's right, when you're wearing any outfit, especially a fall outfit, don't forget your main accessory, confidence. When you look good, you feel better, so don't forget that. Now let's take a look at the fall trends I integrated into my look. There are a few trends that I'm gonna highlight in this portion of the video. For fall, I'm always interested in adding the following elements into my wardrobe. Fall colors like burnt orange, mustard, pops of red, deep wine or oxblood, I'm really loving hats this season, y'all. I've always been interested in wearing hats, but after coming across the hat that I wore on my birthday, I am a believer of fedoras. Now, mine are especially fitted because I got a big noggin, and I'll tell y'all a little bit more about that, but hats in general, and especially fedoras, are definitely worth the grab for fall. I have been caught, and I will probably include some footage, but I have been caught wearing hats that are too small for me, and I didn't realize it until I started seeing wider brim hats really, really becoming a thing. I'm actually gonna do an entire video on this because it means a lot to me and this is one of the things that I really think I'm going to do more often to elevate my personal style, especially now again that I have you know, my locks and I'm gonna be wearing more often my natural hair and stuff like that. It's just gonna be a vibe. Every Thing, everything, look at that fedora. Leather is, of course, prepped for the winter and it doesn't hurt to add a little bit of leather into the fall, especially when you're wearing monochrome outfits and utilize colored leathers as a different texture. Denim jackets or oversized clothing is definitely necessary for fall. Tuck the collar in on the jacket because I just wanted something different and didn't want a lot on my neck because 
your girl is about to be hot, I can tell. And of course, you don't wanna forget your fragrances. I'm gonna share three of my most recent fragrance pickups that I'm loving right now, and I hope you'll think the same after shopping them down below. Gonna grab those two things, but I also wanted to smell Tom Ford Bitter Beach, which I'm liking, and I wanted to see if it would be a good scent to carry into fall, but baby, okay? <laughs> There's another fragrance and it is the Mugler Alien Goddess. They're sold out of it here. But Nordstrom is doing this thing where they're like doing a price match to Macy's. So I'm probably about to go over there and see if I can grab it. So yeah, BRB. And now let's get into this vlog footage from the weekend and prep for the weekend. Yeah. My birthday weekend began with a visit from my good friend Jennifer. She flew in to celebrate with me. So I picked her up from the airport and we went over to Southbound for some tacos and margaritas. After we hit up Penn's Mechanical just to kind of see the vibes of Charlotte on a Friday night. On Saturday morning, we got up and headed to lunch. Hey y'all, everyday Shay. <laughs> What's up? Popping in on my birthday um, here at Restoration Hardware having lunch and wearing a look. Got a lot going on here, but I'm happy to share with you everything that I have going on very, very quickly. J Bolin hat, super wide brim um, hat here, Savant and Scholar glasses, um, little like Shein ear cuffs, uh, Fashion Nova. Here's some pagoda jewelry. My like bangles are Gosh, a whole bunch of stuff. I've got on Pandora, I have on the beauty supply store, I have on Shein, I have on Mantra Band, lots of things here. Culture Boutique t-shirt. I have on Fashion Nova uh, leather pants, and Steve Madden, Kenley slide on shoe. The fragrance today is Mugler Alien Goddess. And then Clutch is Shein as well wearing a jean jacket but it's a little warm at least for the walk up here but yeah y'all hope y'all like my look and i am having lunch with my good girl jennifer johnson from wisconsin <laughs> this is the alien goddess by Ms. Blair. smells phenomenal definitely a daytime scent would you say but yeah this is it for like the start of the birthday plans having lunch here then we have a photo shoot and then we're heading heading to Durham. We're in Charlotte right now, so heading to Durham. But just wanted to check in, say hey, because I'm not doing like a formal birthday vlog. So, hey y'all. <laughs> BRB. Restoration hardware, lunch was great. My mask is struggling right now because I literally just put it on to step outside. So don't mind me. <laughs> but we are done with lunch and it was phenomenal. After lunch, we headed over to shoot some content and then got on the road to travel to Durham. While we're driving to Durham, let me just tell you a little bit about the second look for my birthday. I actually didn't end up wearing it that weekend. However, I do intend to wear it and I did photograph in it, obviously. But this is a very different type of look for me. Obviously the utility oversuit or jumpsuit or overall coverall, whatever you wanna call it. 
is not something that I would typically go for. However, if you've been vibing with me for a while, then you know good and well that I've been wanting the Atmos Animal Pack Air Max 1s. These sneakers are everything and I just wanted to kind of give them its own moment and really stretch my style and do something different. When I saw these glasses from Savant and Scholar, the same places where I got my glasses from the first look, I absolutely could not pass these up. So I went ahead and grabbed those, partnered them with the eyeglass chain from Burgundy Bay, slapped on a red toe bag to give it kind of the fall vibes and I carried this hot yellow bag from Shein and I feel like it just brought all of the colors together. It kind of gives me safari vibes uh, but fall <laughs> or make it a, a little cooler. So I'm vibing it. Um, y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think but this was truly a test of my style and I really enjoyed playing with uh, some elements that typically I wouldn't. So y'all tell me how I did. So once we arrived back to Durham we met up with my good sis Jillian to head out for the night if you've been watching my videos for a while you would have seen my entire look for that night which was in my fashion over try on haul so be sure to go back and catch up on those my fragrance for that night was mason margella's replica autumn vibe so i smelled so good y'all that was one of the other fragrances that i wanted to share with you and then the next day jennifer and i geared up to meet up my hometown girls for brunch at parkside restaurant where i had a delicious prime rib scramble it was phenomenal y'all we went to the living room in durham thereafter for a little sunday fun day and ended the night with sip and paint that one of my best friends Ramesha surprised me with so we had wing night painted a little and just enjoyed good vibes this was a phenomenal weekend y'all I wouldn't have asked for anything more or different I really enjoyed myself and I hope that you all have enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do give it a thumbs up and I will catch y'all in the next one